Hi everyone, welcome to the tutorial on how to create this cute kitchen scrubby. For this tutorial you'll need any four weight yarn, but I used Red Heart Scrubby Cotton to create this one. You'll need scissors, a darning needle, and a 5.5 or a 5 millimeter hook. This yarn, if you're new to crochet, it's called Scrubby Cotton and it's a little difficult to get see your stitches, so you might want to practice a little bit before making it. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel, give it a like, and hit the little bell button so you get notified of all future tutorials. Let's get started. I'm working outside today because it's so beautiful and I wanted to sit outside and you might hear a lot of sounds of the city because I live in the city, right in the heart of the city on a big street. This tutorial is about kitchen scrubbies. I wanted to create something because I ran out of the sponge that went along with this and I was just like, oh, where do I get this sponge? And so I decided, oh, I'm gonna make one. And here it is. This, um, I used two different versions. Let me show you the other version of the yarn. This yarn here is Bernat, a uh, home deck yarn in e, like the Ecru off-white color. So I also created some using Red Heart Scrubby yarn. And this is one version using the Red Heart Scrubby, which is great too. Um, I made a whole bunch of them, so I never have to buy these again. So it's great for creating your own. This one is made in the Scrubby yarn, and this one is actually well used. You can see I've been using it, so I took it out of here. <laughs> it looks a little scrappy compared to the other ones. This is what it looks like brand new. What's great about Red Heart Scrubby Cotton is it has this pretty pink color because I love pink and it also has a really pretty blue. You can switch it up and create it out of any yarn that you want to use but I do suggest using either the scrubby yarn or the home deck yarn. I haven't tried how well this one works cleaning dishes with though so we'll see about how this one goes. This is the yarn that I'm going to use for the tutorial. The other materials you'll need for this tutorial is I'm using a six millimeter hook, a J hook. You'll need a darning needle and some scissors. When you're using the scrubby yarn, you want to use a 5.5 or a 5 millimeter hook. It's a little more difficult to get through and see your stitches using the scrubby yarn, but it just takes a little bit of practice and you'll get it. We're going to start with a chain of 23, 2, 3, 4, 5, 18, 20, 21, 22, and 23. And then we're going to add two more and we're going to work a double crochet into that third chain from the hook. And we're going to work double crochets all the way across until you reach the other side in each chain. Now you can work these in the front loops or the back hump, however you want to do it, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to work these across. If you would like, pause the video and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so here I have 23 and you want to count your stitches always. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 23. I'm going to chain 2. We turn it and then we're going to work a double crochet in each stitch across starting in the very first double crochet that we ended the last row with. So now we're coming up to the end and I have two more stitches left. We're gonna, or three more, we're gonna double crochet in each of those stitches. Don't forget this last one, which they kind of hide. Okay, so here is our, basically the base of where we're going to work off of. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without being in here. So that's our base, these two rows of double crochet. And we're gonna just kind of keep working around so the next thing we're going to do is chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. 
Then you're going to work a single crochet in each of the chains, second chain from the hook down. So you'll have four single crochets. Two, three, and four. And then you turn your work. We're going to slip stitch into this second, the next double crochet. So we're going to slip stitch into there. And then you repeat this across the entire row. So you chain five, five, single crochet in one, two, three, four, and then slip stitch into the next double crochet. And that just keeps repeating across until you get to the very end. Okay, so now I'm coming up towards the end and I'm gonna do my last little, I guess they would be called little hands or something coming off of it. They look like little fingers to me. Okay, so we have one last double crochet and we're going to slip stitch into that. Here, you wanna slip stitch around this double crochet here, around the post, and then work five chains. Do the same as we did before in single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each chain down. Then we skip over and we do a slip stitch in this chain, the next double crochet. And we're gonna slip stitch one more into the top of the starting chain. And from here, we work the same pattern doing five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next four chains. And we're going to slip stitch into the next double crochet, which is right here. And keep working five chains and single crochet into each of the chains going down and then slip stitch in the base of the next double crochet. So continue working your five chains and then single crochet into each chain going down. If you're using the scrubby yarn, it's really hard to see these stitches and that's why I wanted to use this yarn for the tutorial because it's a lot easier to see the stitches and the base, but the scrubby yarn is great. Um, when you get to the end here, you're going to do a slip stitch through the double crochet, chain five, then work a single crochet into each chain just like we did before, and then do another slip stitch through this double crochet here, and that will be your very last stitch. The counts are not that important, so don't worry if you don't have the right amount. It says what it says on the pattern. It's okay because you're just going to be scrubbing dishes with this. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to actually put this into this thing, which can be a little bit difficult. And I, I was also thinking of making something with a dowel rod, something a little bit more like, I don't know, made out of wood, make it look earth friendly and pretty. Um, but I haven't quite done that yet. I might do that. Keep an eye out if I do. So to put this into your little scrubber here, you're going to take your piece and fold it in half like this. 
and then roll it from the um, this side roll it in until it's pretty tight like this now this part's a little bit difficult but what I did was I started off with a few of those little fingers and pulled them through and then you just kind of have to push them all through with your thumb or you can use a um, and just pull them through as they come like that okay so there you go and now you have a cute little glass scrubby or for your dishes glasses whatever and when this one gets dirty and gross you can recycle it throw it away um, maybe repurpose the yarn wash it real good in the washing machine and then use it for something else that might be nice all right guys thanks so much for watching have a great afternoon and please subscribe if you haven't already um, give the video a like and a thumbs up and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Happy crocheting!